All right, guys, so the Supreme Court made an interesting ruling today regarding um, how athletes can be compensated um, when it comes to educational benefits, okay? And uh, this is kind of a big deal because ultimately it, it opens up the floodgates for more antitrust lawsuits to come against the NCAA because athletes want to get paid, okay? Athletes want to get paid. And, you know, listen, I mean, I, I think most people can agree that the NCAA's business model is straight up uh exploitation uh they're running a monopoly and that <laughs> this is not really how capitalism should work right this is not how a free market should work i mean it's just blatant price fixing it, it just is okay um however you know i i do have some thoughts on athletes getting paid and that's part of the reason why i'm doing this video because it's a little bit of a switch up in uh from what i usually talk about um and it is politics related um but i do want to talk about this ruling here and give you guys more information on what's going on and then give you guys my thoughts on athletes getting paid so supreme court sides with student athletes rules ncaa improperly capped education related benefits the supreme court ruled in a unanimous decision monday that the ncaa has illegally restricted education-based benefits that could be used as compensation to student athletes the case was bought by current and former uh, student athletes who played college football as well as men's and women's college basketball they sued the ncaa in 11 conferences claiming that the rules restricting compensation violated antitrust laws a lower court ruling maintained the ncaa's rules of generally forbidding payment to student athletes while allowing for education related aid the students accepted this but the ncaa fought it even bringing the case to the high court okay so education related aid of stuff like uh laptops right internships textbooks things that are related to actual education the um ncaa was trying to limit that right compensation that goes towards those expenses right <laughs> which i mean i don't know I, I just feel like the ncaa is just greedy at this point okay considering how they, they you know don't even allow uh these players to make money off their names and their likenesses okay um even though you know there are like 15 or so states that have passed laws basically trying to fight against that okay and the ncaa actually is going to have a big problem in their hands dealing with that because more states are jumping on board to push back against the woke ncaa or the so-called woke ncaa because they get woke when it comes to you know certain issues but when it comes to actually paying their players they're they not all that woke right so uh quote to the extent the ncaa means to uh propose a sort of judicially ordained immunity from the terms of the sherman act for its restraint of trade that we should overlook its restrictions because they happen to fall at the intersection of higher education sports and money we cannot agree just as neil gorsuch wrote in the court's opinion gorsuch uh made clear that the athletic organization can still enforce rules that forbid uh schools from paying student salaries or giving them outlandish gifts to lure them to their programs come on now let's not act like this don't already happen hey come on i mean you know in high school i played with multiple professional athletes and uh <laughs> i can tell you for a fact that this stuff definitely still happens right there are uh wink wink deals that go on all the time when it comes to uh recruiting athletes right I, I, nick saban actually uh came to my high school when i was in ninth grade to recruit uh an athlete i'm not gonna say his name is a nfl wide receiver but this is what happens right and you know low-key there was some terms you know and conditions that were trying that were set by you know the athlete in order to go to alabama he ultimately ended up not going because alabama didn't agree to it but i'm just saying there are wink wink deals being made all the time right under the current decree the ncaa is free to uh, forbid income benefits unrelated to students actual uh, education nothing stops it from enforcing a no lamborghini rule he said justice uh brett kavanaugh in a concurring opinion uh took the ncaa to task arguing that even the remaining restrictions are questionable quote I add this concurring opinion to underscore the NCAA's remaining compensation rules also raise serious questions under the antitrust laws, uh, Kavanaugh wrote, making um, clear that the court's decision does not address the legality of those rules because they 
were not an issue on the appeal. Kavanaugh went on to make a case against the remaining rules. Quote, the NCAA acknowledges that it controls the market for college athletes. The NCAA concedes that its compensation rules set the price of uh, student athlete labor at a below market rate. And the NCAA recognizes that student athletes currently have no meaningful ability to negotiate with the NCAA over the compensation rules. He wrote, he went on to attack the NCAA's past arguments that the rules are uh, pro-competitive because they help define college sports as featuring unpaid amateurs calling this claim uh, circular and unpersuasive okay so basically um brent kavanaugh is essentially telling people that hey y'all need to bring some other cases to the supreme court right and some other antitrust cases against the ncaa in order to challenge the ncaa on not paying athletes period right not paying them salaries so Brett Kavanaugh, who the left went after, right, went after um, when Trump nominated him, right, he seems to be siding with athletes, okay? He's fighting against the NCAA. He's going either, even further than Neil Gorsuch. He's saying, uh, yeah, NCAA should be paying athletes. Their whole business model is fraud, right, straight up. That's what he's saying. Kavanaugh then compares the NCAA to other industries, noting the absurdity of suggesting that nurses' wages would be capped because it would make their work purer or that uh, restaurant customers prefer eating food made by low-paid cooks, <laughs> which, I mean, honestly is, again, a pretty solid argument. Quote, the NCAA's business model would be flatly illegal in almost uh, any other industry in America, uh, Kavanaugh said. Quote, nowhere else in America can businesses get away with uh, agreeing not to pay their workers a fair market rate on the theory that their product is defined by not paying their workers a fair market rate. And under uh, ordinary principles of antitrust law, it is not evident why college sports should be any different. He concluded the NCAA is not above the law. Okay, so yeah, Brett Kavanaugh is basically torching the NCAA straight up, right? And he, he's basically inviting more lawsuits to come against the NCAA to ultimately pave the way for student athletes to get paid <laughs> i'm saying student athletes with quotes because let's be real guys a lot of these people are not student athletes okay they're not they're just athletes pretending to be students guys like let's be real okay and and, and here's how i feel about you know so-called student athletes getting paid I, I think that it should be like this um you either are a student right that plays sports and you you know get compensated through education right or you have the option to just straight up be an athlete right and if you want to go to school that's fine but you're not going to get some scholarship or get your tuition paid for you can just accept a direct payment and i guess to make it more simple for you guys to understand i would like to see a system where athletes can choose okay so if you're a scholarship athlete um and you know that your goal is to go pro you're not really interested in going to school you're just there to play uh sports like you know some of these guys are um you can say hey you know what i don't need the scholarship just pay me a salary and i also believe that they all athletes really should be able to make money off their likeness and get paid from endorsements okay but um yeah they should better say listen just just pay me just pay me straight up right and they don't get to go to school. They don't get to get an education. So they made a decision that, you know what, they're going to try to go pro and that they're going to get paid compensation and direct cash uh, to be an athlete. OK, that's just it is what it is. You can play for the school, but you don't have to attend classes. You don't have to do any of that. Now, that doesn't mean that they can't. Right. If they decide that they want to go to school, but they also want to get paid. Um, they have to then pay their way through school. They don't get any extra help. OK, they don't get any extra help. Right. Or. Like I said, if you want to go to school and you want to actually be a student and you have interest in being and getting a degree, but you also want to play sports, um, if you happen to be a scholarship athlete, then yeah, you should be able to get the scholarship, but you, you shouldn't be paid anything else, okay? Because your education is being paid for, okay? That's how I believe it should be. And those who are not scholarship, but are in revenue generating sports, um, I, I think that, you know, they probably should get some compensation. Um, it, it might not necessarily be as as much as a scholarship athlete but they definitely should you know be compensated to a certain extent okay now sports that don't generate revenue that don't necessarily provide a positive return on investment i mean they're already being subsidized by these bigger sports um those athletes are just gonna have to take an l when it comes to getting paid in my opinion 
right? But I think regardless, we need to stop pretending like, you know, these athletes are actually students because they're not. Okay, a lot of these these guys are there. They're they're just to play sports. They don't really care about going to class. Um, you know, they don't care about their education. They just want to play sports and you know potentially go pro. Okay, and I think that hey, at the end of the day, they should have the right to not be forced to pay for an education that they don't want. Get paid if they want to get paid. Especially considering the fact that the NCAA makes billions of dollars off of these athletes and the coaches and you know staff and you know all these other people that's involved with athletics that aren't actually playing the game um they all get compensated okay and that's not fair that's just my opinion on it i, I just think that this is anti-capitalistic um this is anti-free market and this is something that i think you know a, a lot of people can agree is is not right right it's just flat out exploitation and it, and it seems like you know in the future you know congress is going to um essentially try to rectify this situation and maybe paved the way for athletes to get paid either through the uh, judicial system or through legislation. So it's, it's really only a matter of time before the NCAA's business model comes crashing down. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.